they've just actually been waiting for us. Two things, the road and capacity. What types of businesses and development might we expect to see in the future along Commerce Parkway in Bunnell? Daryl Moody has our top story. Bunnell's Community Development Director Joe Parsons says the new corridor will create opportunities for development. I think anything that's going to help the area, it's going to help us as a tax base, is going to be great. Um, it's also anything that's going to help the people that aren't just in Bunnell, but that can service the county. And so we'd love to see something like uh, amenities that are going to serve everybody, maybe um well, I've, actually, we, we did speak to one person that did come in, and we directed him maybe in that area, and he's looking at doing you know, maybe like a top golf type of a facility mm. with some arcades and, and things like that. City Manager Dr. Alvin Jackson says the area has garnered interest in recent years. We've had significant number of prospects. Actually, the holdup was the construction of the road, and those prospects have talked about uh, entertainment centers multifamily, residential units. Uh, there is a project that's going, that's uh, planned that will go up right next to the Bunnell Administrative Building, and they're talking about uh, medical on top and retail on the bottom. The city broke ground on both projects earlier this month. For Flagler's Morning News, I'm Daryl Moody. Good morning, Flagler County. I'm Rich Carroll. You're listening to Flagler's Morning News on Wednesday, April 17th. You have the chance to join in and learn essential disaster and emergency response skills in Flagler County. Disaster preparedness, fire safety, light search and rescue, and team organization are being taught through the Community Emergency Response Team, CERT, nationally certified free training program, which begins on April 22nd. Flagler County Emergency Management Director Jonathan Lord. Covering topics from disaster medical skills, so basic first aid, fire safety and utility controls in your home, and we even talk about disaster psychology. We teach basic search and rescue. Lord says this is not a sit and listen certification course. When we go through things like first aid, we'll actually teach you basic first aid and you'll practice that. When we teach fire safety, we'll actually light a fire and you'll actually practice putting a fire out with a fire extinguisher. And then search and rescue will teach you how to determine is it safe to go and rescue somebody that might be trapped. He says more eyes, ears, hands, and feet on emergency situations is crucial. First responders can't be everywhere all at once. We have amazing first responders on our fire and law enforcement teams. However, they cannot be everywhere at once. We have a large event like a big disaster like a hurricane. We rely on our community members being trained and our neighbors helping each helping each other. Registration can be accessed by going to flaglercounty.gov slash emergency. Registration is required and attendance at all sessions is necessary to receive certification. For Flagler's Morning News, I'm Karen Johnson. This local news is a service of Flagler County's Toyota dealer, Beaver Toyota US1 St. Augustine, here to wow you. All kids should feel safe in the water. That includes those with autism. Erica Flores is the executive director and the founder of Vincent's Clubhouse, a local organization that advocates for those with autism. She said that while kids on the spectrum are drawn to shiny, shimmering water, they're less likely to know how to keep themselves safe around the water. Drowning is the number one cause of death for individuals with autism. So, I mean, a lot of people don't know that. It's very, very important that we are able to provide this information to parents of children on the spectrum. Flores said that it's important for kids with autism to learn how to swim because just like any other kid, they need to know how to keep themselves safe in the water. Flagler Health Matters is on WNZF Saturday mornings at 1130 and on the Flagler radio app. Tomorrow, the city of Flagler Beach is getting ready for all those swimmers. From the WNZF newsroom, I'm Deb Albertson. The Buddy Taylor Middle School Sea Perch team made waves at the recent Greater Jacksonville Sea Perch competition, bringing home all the top honors. Nathan Cabrera and Sophia Costa of Buddy Taylor Middle School have clinched spots to compete at the upcoming International Sea Perch competition held at the University of Maryland in late May. Sea Perch is a program aimed at teaching students how to construct remotely operated vehicles for underwater exploration, serves as an introduction to fundamental engineering, design, and science concepts in robotics and now you're up to date on flagler's morning news i'm rich carroll